Hi everybody, Mark Claiborne here for the Photographer Academy and we're going to have some fun uh, doing some uh, food photography. We're going to be creating a quick animated GIF in the likes of Photoshop. First of all though, we're going to do some shots. So uh, again, I'm in a, um, a flat a flat lay position as far as the camera's overhead, like a, ros a rostrum. I've got the light behind me. This is going to kind of bounce all the light in. That's all our main light source. It doesn't matter if you're seeing anything else in the set here. It's only this light is doing the job. I've got a reflector off to the side as well to bounce in some light to create kind of some extra on the shadow area and things really. And I've got a cake and a piece of card. Uh, the only thing I've done, I'm not sure if you can see it, but I've got a little line on the right hand side of me and the left hand side so I can see where the frame is out of shot. Uh, and what we're going to do is move the cake across and doing some funny things with it and then we'll quickly show you how to create a, an animated GIF within Photoshop. So the first thing would be is to actually just bring the cake in perhaps into half of the image and just check that it's uh, there. So there it is, it's, all, it's almost there. So I'm out of the way of the light source now, okay? So now what I'm gonna do is basically start to just move the cake in and a little bit at a time, like you see kind of done with Lego toys and everything else with it. It's just kind of just doing its job. I'm just gonna do a bit of a spin in the middle. I've got to remember to take away my hand each time, not leave any crumbs behind. <laughs> Don't eat any of the cake. And then start to move it once more out of frame to actually get the kind of image that we want. Right, so <laughs> how simple is that really, yeah? Uh, we've done the quick shots. I just did those straight into Capture One using the likes of a Tether Tools cable to get the images from camera into here. Uh, what I'm going to do though now is I'm going to go, go into Photoshop. And basically, if you see on screen, what we've got there is that first kind of image that we did as a quick test just to kind of familiarize myself with it and things really. So I'm just going to get rid of this because we don't want any confusion here. We want to get rid of uh, that. We want to start from scratch. So uh, what I want to do is basically uh, create a new file and basically load all those JPEGs we just took uh, into the file itself. Okay, so I'm going to go file and we're going to go into scripts and we're going to go into load files into stack. Now at this point, I need to go and browse. I need to go and choose uh, what I'm shooting. And it was Queen of Hearts, Capture. And uh, because I'm shooting a JPEG and a RAW, I basically just want the JPEG files. So I'm just gonna carefully select uh, each one of those JPEGs. Obviously I'd usually be um, processing the RAW files working from them. Let me just select them as well, the donut. Very apt today, we're photographing donuts as well. Uh, click onto that. So we want enough images to make it kind of work. Yeah, agreed. And there's our last file. Okay, so I'm gonna press okay to that. And that's gonna just uh, come up with a whole host of those files now into the, wid uh, the window. Once they're there, I can go ahead and just press okay. Now, photographs, uh, Photoshop is gonna take just a little while to actually kind of put them all into the stacks, as you can see. So it's taken every one of those single layers or single files and build, um, build them into one file and then basically creating, uh, as I said, a new layer for each one of them. Okay, what else do we need to do? Well, the first thing I need is a timeline. So if, if this wasn't visible down the bottom here, I would go up to win, uh, Windows and select on, tie, on Timeline. So that's Windows, Timeline, and then basically it comes up. Usually by default, in fact, it's actually set to create video time at uh, the timeline, but I want to create the frame animation, all right? Uh, with that done now, basically just clicking onto those three little lines, uh, we're going to just um, add it into uh, here. Let me click on the create frame animation first, you donut. Very apt today, as I said. And then I'm going to create make frames from layers. Okay, so Photoshop has now gathered all one of those layers and basically put them in into the image. Uh, the only negative, it works in reverse. So if I wanted to actually have them in order as I shot them, which you usually would, uh, the quickest way for me to do is, is in uh, bridge, is reorder, uh, reorder them in reverse way of time ta uh, taken, change their um, name, and obviously when they load in then, 
basically the first shot I uh, shot would then be uh, labeled as the last shot I took and things really. So it kind of does it straight away. And then um, all I've got to do is basically press play and as you can see straight away it comes in and it goes out. So that's on the kind of the no second uh, and it's kind of quite works well because we use so many images to uh, then create the GIF for social media and the likes of, we just go into file and we'll go into export and we want to save for web. Obviously, if you know the size that you want to create with, I'd obviously go into all the images and crop them to the exact size, if it's going to be square, whatever it would be and things really. So uh, again, with this in mind, just to save a bit of time, we're just going to accept as it is. Uh, you can see that the image down here on the bottom is 3840 by 2560. That's ridiculous, uh, especially if it's going to be for social media and the likes of. Let me just shrink, shrink that down. It, it is there, but I'd usually go in there and basically change that into uh, 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 1200, and then it'll obviously adjust the kind of the size. So um, if I just go now into save, it's going to ask me to save it some, uh, somewhere. You can see we made a kind of a, a quick test one beforehand. Um, let's call this uh, Queen. Oh, Queen Animation 1. I am just press OK. And then basically, um, it's going to just take uh, about kind of a minute to actually do its job. Uh, all things are all automated, as we know, within the likes of uh, the wonderful world of Photoshop. Um, so uh, again, it's taken a lot of the strain away. Let's not forget, if you're using an iPhone, you could do this in exactly the same way, whether you're putting images in from your iPhone into the likes of Photoshop or you're creating it using some kind of app. So then all I really need to do is kind of uh, go and find that uh, image. So we were into Documents, I believe and we into Queen of Hearts. So let's just click onto that one there. And then this will just go through. Now, what I didn't show, uh, show you uh, is within Photoshop as well, we can actually change the speed that it actually flows as well, okay? So we could actually change uh, uh, as far as how many uh, points of a second it is between the an animation levels and things really. But I think that's a really quick, fun thing for you to be doing, not just with food photography, but with pretty much any products, of course. Hope you've enjoyed this film. See you on the next one. Bye-bye.